After the domain of the boundary value problem is created, it needs to be discretized so that it can be solved approximately. Start the mesher by double clicking on Mesh in the Workbench window. Once it opens, we should see our geometry in the window. If the perspective is weird, click the Z axis in the bottom right and right click and select Zoom to Fit. To start, Highlight Mesh in the tree, and under the Mesh tab, click Generate to create an initial mesh. Once the process is completed, we can see that this mesh is not very uniform. Since our geometry is fairly simple, we can easily create a more uniform mesh using face meshing. Select it in the top bar, click Geometry, and select both surfaces by clicking and dragging over them. Select Apply and then regenerate the mesh. Once it is done, we should see a much more uniform structured mesh. To improve the solution results by reducing the discretization error, we want to create a much finer mesh with smaller elements. We can do this using the sizing option. Select it, and with geometry selected, we want to apply this to the inner and outer circular edges. Do this by enabling the Edge Selection filter, holding Control, and clicking on the outer two edges. Right-clicking and dragging to zoom in, you can repeat this for the inner two edges. And click Apply. To improve the mesh, we want to change the sizing to constrain the number of divisions. By changing Type, to number of divisions and entering 96. Next, we want to turn off capture curvature and set behavior to hard. We can then right click and select zoom to fit and regenerate the mesh. we can see that this produced a much finer discretization. This may produce a warning indicating that the generated elements are smaller than the defeaturing tolerance. We can fix this by selecting Mesh, and under Sizing, turning off Mesh Defeaturing. While this may be useful for more complex geometries, it can be turned off in this case. The Mesh can then be regenerated. we can see that this got rid of the warning. To improve the results, we want a higher resolution near the cylinder than near the outer walls. We can accomplish this by adding bias. Start by selecting Geometry in the tree, then move to the Display tab, and check Direction. All lines have directionality indicated by the arrows. This is a useful visualization and allows for the proper sizing to be added. Selecting Mesh in the tree, sizing can be added as before. Start by selecting the top vertical line as the geometry. Again, change the type to Number of Divisions, and select 96 to ensure it matches the already created mesh. Next, turn off Capture Curvature and change the behavior to Hard. We can then change the bias type to match the directionality of the line. Since we want smaller elements near the cylinder and larger elements near the edge, we can select the option that indicates lines going from smaller to larger to follow the direction of the line. Next, change the Bias option to Bias Factor, and enter 460. We want to repeat this for the bottom line. Right click on the newly created sizing, and duplicate it. First, change the geometries that the bottom line is selected. 
Next, change the bias type such that lines go from larger to smaller to connect to the direction of the line. The mesh can now be regenerated. If we zoom in, we can see that this had the desired effect. We can right click and select zoom to fit to view the whole mesh. We can view information about the mesh by selecting it in the tree and looking at statistics. This shows that we have 18,624 nodes and 18,432 elements. The meshing process has divided the domain into cells. Each of these represent a control volume that Fluent will use to derive algebraic equations and then solve those equations approximately to find our primary unknowns, u, v, and p, at the center of each of these cells. From there, it will interpolate to find them over the whole domain. With the mesh completed, we can close the mesher. Back in Workbench, right-click on the Mesh step and select Update. Once this is completed, save the project.